So, yeah, thank you very much, Lynn, for, for coming back again um, today, because since we spoke yesterday, quite a lot of things have happened. And uh, we've learned that the Dem Party elected mayor of Van Abdullah Zedan has been removed from the post, a post that he got elected to with 55% of the vote and been replaced by the AKP candidate who got just 27%. So I was wondering, how was the your delegation informed about this and, and what, what are you doing about it? Well, I received a mail myself with this information. Uh, we did not yet discuss this in the delegation because we did not yet have a meeting about it. So in this matter, uh, I'm not speaking on behalf of the delegation, but I'll be speaking on my own. Uh, but this is not unexpected, not so much the person itself, but uh, before the elections and also in previous elections, we've seen activities like these. Uh, personal, I believe it won't be the only one. We'll see probably more of it. Uh, and we will spend some uh, time also in investigating what happens with the result of the elections, because this is a matter uh, that uh, is related to the question uh, whether the elections are accepted or not. Uh, formally, uh, Erdogan has spoken out uh, in public that he accepts uh, the outcome of the election, but these are activities that give the, uh, the indication that at some regions or cities the outcome is not uh, accepted. Now, I do not know the formal reasons uh, of this decision and who made the decision exactly, that's not clear to me, but I expect we'll see more cases in the coming time uh, and this will also be dealt with uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, in our report on the election observation. So were you officially told about it as, as a delegate? I mean, you, you... No, no, I did not get official uh, information. It was done uh, through people I know in Strasbourg that informed me. Uh, and I have sent through this information to the secretariat so they can uh, put it in the dossier on the report. And um, this isn't the only thing that, that's occurred um, to challenge the Dem Party. Um, since since the elections, though obviously it's the biggest one. So we've seen in Orfa Hilvan that the when the AKP objected, they said they'll rehold the election in June. And <clears throat> at the same time, there's been a, a, a lot of violence against the protests. So in Hakari, we've actually seen um, protesters facing people with with live ammunition. I mean, the, the people they're facing have got live ammunition, not not the protesters. So, so how how do you, as as a delegation, you know, keep a tab on everything that's happening? Well, um, it, uh, as soon as we get the rumors, then we have our own networks to get information. Uh, often, this is done uh, through uh, ambassadors. Also, the Turkish ambassador will probably be questioned about what's going on, uh, and we will receive uh, different kinds of reports uh, on this, so we can judge uh, the matter. Of course, we have no formal authority to intervene in matters like these. Uh, but if we have to write down the results of our observation mission, then part of the report will also be about uh, if the outcome of the election will be executed. And this is an example uh, where it's not uh, being executed. And as I said before, this is not new. We've seen in the past years uh, several decisions uh, that uh, uh, mayors were replaced by trustees. Uh, or other forms of replacement. Uh, and this has been questioned by the Council of Europe uh, a lot. And I imagine that we, this will be questioned again also in the coming meetings. So this would be a, I mean, you presumably also will receive things from different parties as well, their comments on, on what's, yeah. what's happening. Yeah. Yes, and, and uh, uh, Turkey must realize that these reports are uh, put on the agenda in 46 member states. So 46 countries that are united in the Council of Europe will talk about this matter, will talk about this, these things that occur in, talk, in Turkey, and will talk about uh, how Turkey interprets uh, democracy in their country. And I just wanted to, to return actually to, um, just to clarify something from, from yesterday's discussion. So, 
just if you could clarify a little more the way your observation works actually on the ground. So do you choose which places to go to or does no. the authorities choose which places? No, to no, go? no, there's no question about that. So uh, uh, the, the delegation splits up. Uh, we had a, a large delegation, about 20 people, elected politicians from these 46 member states. Uh, they split up in teams of two. Uh, uh, the teams have an interpreter and a driver, uh, and they are completely free and nobody can stop them. Uh, they have the authority to choose to go to which station they will visit or not. Uh, so there is no question about it. Nobody makes suggestions. In my case, in Deir Bakir, nobody suggested me which stations I should visit or not. Uh, we are well aware because we've done this before, of course. Uh, so we know it's the, the different schools. Uh, for instance, in our case, uh, my fellow companion in, the, in our group, uh, we decided to do half of the visits outside Deir Bakir in the villages and other half inside uh, Deir Bakir. Uh, and, and we've visited quite a lot of stations. So I'm just a little puzzled then why you didn't go to any of the places that the Dem party had highlighted as having problems with the electoral lists, because they did actually give addresses, I think, on the document that you received, no? Uh, yes, but um, that, that's very delicate because uh, we, we must be neutral. So we decide at random and not at suggestion. That's not the way it may work because then Turkey rightly can say so, you listen to the wrong people. So we but have to do it at random. Just to yes, check. But we did it at random. We did it at random. Okay. Yeah. okay. And I was just wondering, you know, in, in the light of, of what's happened since, if there's any regret in the delegation that, I mean, yes, your report had criticisms, but the overall tone and particularly because of the end and, and the headline that it was given on the Council of Europe's own website was really positive. And I was wondering if there's any regrets uh, about that. Well, uh, to be clear, the, the press conference is not the report. So the report, it has not been written yet. Yeah. The press conference is only a text for a press conference and it's the general impression of the day. Uh, and my own view is that as far as we see problems like we just discussed in Turkey are the problems before the election and the problems after the election. In the general idea, we've, we've seen things going wrong, but the general idea is that the teams in the election observation offices worked, uh, worked right uh, so that we have not seen any forms of fraud or corruption in the polling stations. That's what the press conference was about. That's about what happened on the day itself. Uh, I've seen in Dear Bakir very well trained people who did the job very well. I've seen the observers of the different parties being part of the polling stations, but they cooperated with each other and we have seen no conflicts in the polling stations. And that's what the press conference was about. And we will pay special attention what happens after the election and also what happened before, like I was also very critical about the position of the press uh, in Turkey. That's an example of that. So uh, you'll have to wait a while before the report is there. The report will be much broader and wider than the press conference. But there is scope, I suppose, for the report also to include more about, about the day, if you were to get more information, more um, <clears throat> about well, the yes. for example, yes. but yeah. Yes, in, in the workings, uh, we uh, we fill in a form of each visit. So there's a, a huge pile of forms, about 140 or 150 stations were, were visited. So the Secretariat is now uh, analyzing these forms, and that will be the base uh, of the report, uh, what the findings were of the observers. Well, we look forward to seeing you know, what the final report is. Can you just outline first, just as a final thing, what, what the process is now for, for your, your delegation? <clears throat> well, we have a, a monitoring commission planned in June. Then the draft report will be oh, dealt sorry, with. the monitoring commission, does that go to Turkey or? No, no, the monitoring commission is part of the Council of Europe. Okay. Uh, so the monitoring committee executes the election observation and also executes the monitoring activities. Uh, there will soon be an extra fact-finding mission to Turkey also, uh, so that will be added to so to this process. 
Uh, but uh, in the monitoring committee of June, there will be a uh, draft report debated. Uh, and when it passes the committee, it, uh, it will be a formal decision making in the Congress of October. And after the final decision making in October, the report will be sent to all governments of the member states and will be dealt with in the committee of ministers. Okay. Uh, do you see just as a final, well, unless there's anything else that you would you, you yourself would like to add, but I was just wondering if you saw, obviously what's happening in Van is very similar to, to what happened last year, but, or last, sorry, last time, but maybe reactions are different? Do you, do you see differences this time around? No, well, like I said yesterday, the, I see one positive point that uh, if you look to the result of the voting, there still is a mechanism possible in Turkey where the people change their opinion uh, and vote as they have voted. And this is a positive side of the election. Uh, we are very curious if the, the response of the government and the response of the, the regional governors maybe uh, will change in the coming time or will it be the same as we've seen the last four years? Uh, if it's the same uh, and they start uh, a struggle for power, uh, yeah, and then we have our own ideas how to look at the, at the way Turkey organizes its country. Uh, and there will be debates in, in the, also in the parliamentary assembly uh, but and in our Congress about how to deal with this because Turkey has to be has to answer since they signed the Charter of Local Democracy uh, and that gives obligation. So there will be tension there uh, in the debates uh, and we will do anything we can to at least publicize uh, what happens and put pressure on this dossier. Do you think that um, reaction from the opposition or from out with Turkey is different this time? Or perhaps it's too early to say. Yeah, it's too early to say. Uh, although I'm curious uh, what will happen. Uh, you might think uh, this brings some changes. Uh, of course, in, in uh, when I speak in a neutral way, all political parties will evaluate this outcome. And all political parties, including the AKP, will think about what to do with it. How do we deal with it? What did we do wrong? Uh, why did we win votes and why did we lose votes? And it's usually brings a different attitude. If the decision is uh, that the attitude will not be changed, then uh, yeah, there will be a reaction in the next elections, I imagine. Thank you very much. And thank you for especially for coming back today. And we'll keep watching what's happening. Thank you. Thank you very much.